All right, everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Luke. We are at Alligator Reef today. We're aboard Blue, the Sundance Water Sports. I'm usually driving this thing, but today is my off day. So I'm gonna show you guys the reef. Enjoy. And here we are underwater at Alligator Reef. You can see this um, beautiful nurse shark here and all of these fish. Uh, I wanted to show you this reef. Um, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago, we saw it turn a lot of it, a lot of these sea fans, a lot of this um, stony coral turn white and bleach. And it's starting to make a comeback. You can see some of these fans are healthier. Uh, there's still some bleached coral like I'm showing you here. Um, so it hasn't made a full recovery yet, but a lot of it did bleach off. We had, I recorded anecdotally on my dive watch, uh, 91 degree water temperature. And lately I've been seeing it fluctuate between 88 and 87 degrees. Uh, that's helping us out a lot. We've been getting a lot more cloud cover, uh, a lot more storms, a lot more rain, and I, I believe that that's helping. Uh, I'm not a scientist or anything, but it seems like that water temperature is cooling down and not having a lot of sun cover or a lot of cloud cover to give us some relief from that sun. I think has caused that water to get a little warmer. But you can see some of this bleaching still uh, actively happening here. And some of that coral is actually coming back. So a lot of misconceptions is that a lot of people think that once the coral is bleached, that it's completely dead. Um, that's not true. If it stays bleached, it will die. But uh, as long as those water temperatures return back to cooler temps, um, that coral should survive. Um, there's an organism, an uh, algae actually, called zooxanthellae, or zooxanthellae, however you prefer to say it, uh, that survives on the outside of that coral, and there's a symbiotic relationship that that zooxanthellae uh, relies on the coral, and the coral relies on that, and that algae uh, dies off if it gets too hot or if that coral gets stressed, and that's why we had this mass bleaching event with these higher temps. These higher temps, some people attribute to it being an El Nino year uh, as well, or our water gets a little bit warmer. Now we moved out to uh, what we call the ledge at Alligator Reef. You can see here where some organizations have transplanted coral or planted coral. Uh, and even some of that is uh, bleached. I'm sorry about the shaky footage there. I'm not sure what happened on the GoPro. Uh, and then here you can see some coral as well. This is transplanted coral. If you look at the bottom, you can see where it's attached and they all have those tags as well. Um, but it's bleached. Uh, you can see another tag here from that organization. And you can see all of this coral that they're attempting to transplant. Uh, a lot of it being affected by these warmer waters here uh, and a lot of them being bleached. But um, doesn't keep it from holding life though. This whole ledge still has big goliath groupers, all sorts of beautiful fish on it. Um, The biodiversity under this lighthouse is amazing. If you've ever had the privilege or opportunity to dive it or snorkel it, it's fantastic. Um, you can see it's rusting or aging. If you want to uh, look more into how to help uh, with the restoration efforts there, uh, Save Alligator Reef Lighthouse, check them out online. I'll put a link down there. Great local organization here in Alamorada working to restore that to keep it beautiful. The fish love that structure, so. Uh, yeah, this is just a video of me swimming uh, by the lighthouse there. You can see there's just tons of fish. It's a beautiful reef. Come out and see it for yourself. Um, we're going to move on to Chica Rocks after this clip, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that.
All right, this leads me to Chica Rocks. This is a spot called the Donut. It's just outside Chica Rocks Sanctuary. And you can see a lot of this coral is bleached. Uh, and I really wanted to document this because two weeks ago, uh, this entire thing was white. There was not a bit of color, like you saw that brownish, orangish color. Uh, there was not a bit of that. It was all completely white when that water was super warm. And as you can see at the bottom of these, it's starting to get a little bit brown again. Some of that algae, that zooxanthellae, is coming back. Uh, and it looks like it's starting to make a little bit of recovery. I don't want to speak too soon, uh, but it does look better than the last time I dove it. Um, if you look at some of these corals, um, they're starting to get that darker color, mostly on the bottoms, but there still is uh, a lot of it that's bleached and it's got a long way to go. But I'm hoping that in October, uh, we'll start to see a little bit more as the time goes by. Um, I just wanted to show some of the life that's still there. Even though it's bleached, there's still tons of beautiful fish there. Still a great place to snorkel, um, but you can see where a lot of it is starting to uh, come back. I wanted to show this coral because this entire reef, all the coral, from what I remember last time I dove it, was completely white. And it seems that this uh, coral is doing well and starting to repopulate. You can see all the color coming back. On the top it's still bleached a little. But it looks like it's uh, making a recovery. So. Now this next clip shows a turtle swimming along, but you can also see some of the soft corals that are struggling in the sea fans. Um, not sure how well those are going to last. I'll update you guys in October about those, but they don't seem to be making quite the recovery that some of the hard corals are. So here's some up close footage of that. You can see a purple sea fan. Now I'm just going to swim across uh, quite a bit of coral so you guys can see just the overall condition of the reef. Despite all that bleaching, you can see there's still a ton of fish here. It's a great place to snorkel and hopefully it continues the recovery path and there's not quite so much white next time we see it. Like I said earlier, I'm not a scientist, I'm just observing what I see. But it looks like it's making or starting to make some recovery. Alright y'all, if you enjoyed the video, please hit like hit subscribe. If you're wanting to find out more about the coral and the restoration efforts that are going on, check out the Coral Restoration Foundation or I Care. I'll put their links below. Hit like, hit subscribe. I'll update you guys uh, next month in October and we'll see how these reefs are doing. Hopefully they're doing well. Anyway, till next time, yeehaw.